Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to do a super simple recipe how to make scrambled eggs. Now this is a super simple recipe that you can make on a, in a pinch and all you need is eggs, you need butter or oil or pan, anything that will you can spray on the pan. I like to use butter or margarine. Um, some pepper and salt. So, super simple, super easy. Um, if you guys have never made eggs before, this is the recipe for you. So all you're gonna do is, it's up to you how many eggs you like. I usually make for myself three eggs. Um, that's usually what I go to. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna crack the egg. The best way to crack an egg is to just crack it on the bowl. So you just go on the side of the bowl and you hit it. And you'll see it has a crack. And then you just pull it apart. And the egg will fall into the bowl. Put the shells together and then put it in the garbage after. Next one. Two. Oh, and also a tip, if you get shell in, in the um, egg, what you're going to do is you're going to use the egg shell to scoop out the little piece of shell that you have let fall in. So that's just a tip because sometimes the shell does break into, into the uh, plate. So then we're going to do it again. Okay, so now once you have your three eggs cracked, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a fork and you're gonna just mush it all up. So you're just gonna... And then you're gonna, what you're gonna do is go in a circular motion and you're gonna blend it together. So you're just doing this. Circle, circle, circle. Until all of the yellow is mixed with the white. And you want to do this well because it tastes a lot better when it's mixed. So you just want to keep going until you see it all blended nicely together and not too much yellow pieces. Okay, and that's basically what we're looking for, consistency. Okay, so next step is to grab a pan and what you're going to want to get is a non-stick pan. It either can be the Teflon black coated or these are the copper coated. They're pretty cool too. Um, but any pan will work. Put it on your stove and just match up the pan size with the circle on your stove. So don't try not to put this on the small circle. Put it on the circle that matches perfectly. It also will heat. Um, and cook it more evenly. So then what you want to do is you want to grab a spatula. Any spatula will work. You can even use a spoon, but spoons tend to scratch this. So try not to use a spoon. It usually has to be plastic or silicone. Then you want to get your margarine. And I use the same tool so I don't have to dirty it. Grab just a little bit and fling it in there. And then once it's in there, then you want to turn it on a medium high heat so in between medium and high and you're just gonna keep it on there and this butter is gonna melt So once the butter is melting, you'll notice it melting like that. Then you're just going to lift up your pan and you're going to move it around and you're going to get the butter to grease up the whole pan. See, so it's nicely coated. 
Then what you're gonna do, once the butter, you can also you can also use your spatula to move it around, just to coat the bottom nicely. Whether you use oil, Pam, whatever your spray is, just coat it nice. Then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna wanna grab your eggs, and you're gonna pour them into your pan. So while the eggs are still liquidy and they're cooking in the pan, what I like to do is to add some salt, just a little bit. And also I like to add some pepper as well. So I like to add a little bit of pepper. I feel like it mixes a lot easier when, while it's cooking. So what you want to do is keep it on medium to high heat and you'll notice that it starts to puff up and you can see right here how it's puffing up a little bit. Let me zoom in on it so you could see. See how it's puffing a little? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your spatula and you're going to just move it. And you see how it's already solid a little bit like that? But what you're going to do is just break it all up and let it cook more. And all you're looking for is you'll see it get a little bit solid, you'll see it start puffing up, and that's when you want to start to break up the egg. Um, that's also how you make an omelette. If you leave it and you don't touch it, it will become one solid piece. So I'll show you here, like, see how it's one solid, one big piece? So once you don't notice that, then you can just flip it, move it around, and just chop it up. And that's what makes it into those nice little pieces. I like the pieces nice and small. And you can cook it how you like. Um, right now it's pretty much done. It only takes about, I don't know, maybe like five minutes of cooking. And everybody likes their eggs a little bit differently, so you can try it different ways. This is more yellow. Um, you can cook it even more so it's more dry or more crispy. It's totally up to you. At this point, you can do anything with the eggs too. You can add any flavor you like. Garlic, cheese, um, tomatoes, onions, whatever you want. And you can put it in. But this is just a simple way to make eggs. Shut off your stove. And then you just slide it into your plate. And you see how we use the butter, how it didn't make anything stick. So that worked out well. And then you have scrambled eggs. Now all you need to do is, I like to also add a little bit more salt now. So I just, just very little. I did a little bit earlier to mix it nicely and then I add a little bit after. And then a little bit more pepper, just to garnish the top. And that's it everyone. This is one of the easiest things you can make in the kitchen. It's one of the staples and if you can make this, you can add anything to this. You can make egg McMuffins, you can make um, all kinds of amazing things. And when you don't have any food in the fridge, you usually have eggs. So this is amazing to make. So thank you guys, I hope I helped you out um, and uh, I taught you something. If I did, please subscribe, comment and like this video. It helps me out and it encourages me to make more of them. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your food.